Two months ago, these eight couples descended on New York City, ready to set the culinary world on fire. The time is now. Let's go! They all shared a single dream. I want to win. To win a restaurant they could call their very own. This is a competition, and we are playing to win. Their challenge, open two restaurants, four couples in each restaurant, right in the heart of Manhattan, right across the street from each other. Tomorrow night, we open. And as they open for business, Come on in. one man was there to guide them. Thank you, that's perfect. Master chef, Marco Pierre White. That's overcooked, that's overcooked. If you lose tonight, I'm coming back tomorrow to sack one of you. Each week, the teams battled for survival. Stop fighting with each other, okay? Oh, shut the fuck up and get out. I will fight for myself, and I will fight for my child. As both restaurants went head-to-head -head at dinner service. I need two shrimp remoulades. Here. 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 Their fate was in the hands of America's top food critics who secretly dined in both restaurants and judged the winning team. Tell me who the winner is. The black restaurant wouldn't last one night in New York City. And the losers had to answer to Marco. Should we get it over and done with? One by one, couples were sacked. Until, of the eight couples, only three remained. Then... There's a little mold on those berries. We had four that had mold. I overlooked it. Dean, Sherry, Black Restaurant now closes. Forcing Seoul Restaurant to close down forever. Now, just two teams are left. It's been a long journey, hasn't it? I wonder if he was going to get a restaurant. You knew that. Former husband and wife, Lisa and Annapol. We love the working relationship more than the married one. We're going to win. And the competition's youngest players, Vanessa and Kelsey. We're just two chicks from L.A., but look out, Lisa and Annapol, because <laughs> this one's ours. Both members of the red team, their journeys couldn't have been more different. This is your last chance. Lisa and Annapol are veterans of the restaurant trade. And it didn't take too long for Chef Lisa's star to rise. I've got to say that you've got to be the head chef. Wow. Vanessa and Kelsey were new to the restaurant game. Don't come back here. Sorry. I don't want to. Oh, oh, God. So sorry. I've never been a waitress. Kelsey, use your brain. And got off to a rocky start. Do you make risottos often? No, I don't. I feel not. But as Lisa and Annapol showed Vanessa and Kelsey hey, the way, it's too rare. things began to turn around. The meat's cooked very nicely outside, I saw. Well, I knew that. I cooked it. Last week, Lisa and Annapol and Kelsey and Vanessa became the competition's final two. Now you were enemies. Now it's us against you. I know, right? As they faced off in a night at the museum, it's head to head now. Lisa's wealth of experience left her unfazed by the challenge ahead. Now you're a very clever girl. You know that. I don't know about Annapol, but I don't feel any competition at all. While Kelsey seemed to flounder. Can you help getting these over here? Can't Kelsey do anything by herself? But when Kelsey and Vanessa came up with a clever dessert idea, they won over the critic. It's delicious and satisfying. It's decadent. And took the challenge. You're in charge of the cherry, then. That was my favorite course of the evening. So that makes Vanessa and Kelsey the big winner. But Marco had one more surprise in store. One final dinner service, head to head. You will have the choice. Vanessa and Kelsey chose to stay in the red restaurant, and the gloves finally came off. She's an idiot. She didn't even look at me. Tonight, Lisa and Annapol and Vanessa and Kelsey will compete in the most important dinner service of their lives. But only one couple can win the ultimate prize, a quarter of a million dollars for a restaurant of their own, a state-of-the-art kitchen, and a first-class trip to Europe to dine in all of Marco's world-famous restaurants. Only one of them can go home with a restaurant. As Marco Pierre White decides the winners of The Chopping Block.
A start in the game all over again. I'm scared. Okay, look at that. It was just stark white. Uh, everything had been sort of stripped out of it. That was like mind boggling. Oh no. We walk in and it's like a cloud. Are you fucking kidding me? I have painted their restaurants white. They have a blank canvas. What I'm asking them is to show me who they are, what they are, and if they win a restaurant, what they will do with it. Let's see what this says over here. Welcome to your final test. You now have a blank canvas to create the restaurant of your dreams. We have 5,000 in cash and 10,000 from Pier 1 Imports. We have three days to prepare for the most important night of our lives, the final dinner service. I guess Lisa should watch out. I'm here to prove again to her that I've got what it takes. I don't even know where to start. <laughs> well, we've got three days, so. Uh... That's not very much time. We definitely want this more than they do. I want this more than anybody could possibly imagine after 35 years of waiting for an opportunity like this. I think we deserve it. We're home. The chopping block is the ultimate challenge in the restaurant world. Because to win it, you have to show off many qualities. It's about playing as a team, about having a strategy, and making your dream come true. Um, so Kelsey and I decided our color scheme of chocolate brown and teal and cream with highlights of silver. As soon as we had that down, we went right over to Pier 1 and started collecting things that fit right in. Oh, look, right here. We named our restaurant Restaurant C um, after our family name and our mom's first name and, and also California. What kind of stuff? They were the food dogs. Oh, the food dogs, yeah. The name of our restaurant is called Bite Me and bite me means bites of food. Too big, too brown. Those are feng shui. If I don't put them in the right corner, we're screwed. I, I'm, I'm superstitious, sorry. The style that we're going for is Asian, California, hip. Golds and reds and blacks and creams in it. So what are you guys getting? We ran into Kelsey and Vanessa at Pier 1, and they were looking at our stuff. I mean, I don't know what for. Who cares? I mean. We've already, we've already got our thing. I don't know why they would be curious. I mean, all the energy that Annapol and I are putting into our restaurant is going to our restaurant. I don't care what they're doing. I want to stay focused. Yes, that looks so good. Yay! When Kelsey and I walked back and saw the stripes on the wall, I couldn't have been happier. It was exactly what I wanted. It expressed exactly the vibe and the feel that I wanted in our restaurant. It's so fun. Oh my gosh, I love it. Kelsey and I are actually getting really excited about being here and, and what we've accomplished so far and what we've learned and what there is to come. And if Kelsey and I win, it launches our careers. It's a huge opportunity for us. So we're ready to fight for our strength and, and why we should be here, because we know we deserve to be here. Wow. <laughs> wow is right. I love it. When we first walked into the restaurant and saw the walls red, I went, yes. Give yeah, me be very romantic. Be very romantic. We have two days to open our restaurant. And it's overwhelming, yeah, but it's exciting. Because it's, it's a battle. I'm just not going to lose that at this point. Are you kidding me right now? <laughs> wow, I'm so happy. It's not even funny. So they're doing their restaurant, red, what? flat, and red gloss. Who told you that? The painter guy. I just very nonchalantly asked the painters, like, so how's it going at the other place? And he's like, oh, it's going well. And I said, oh, is it red? And I said, actually, yeah, they're painting red. And I was like, hmm, real original. I wonder where they got that idea. And um, I didn't just get off the boat. <laughs> this is a competition, so of course I'm strategizing. I mean, we want to win. This is the final service, and one thing I've not really seen yet is leadership qualities within any of them. You're Mary. Nice to meet you, Mary. I'm currently working at Mario Batali, Joey Bastianich. Oh, okay. Yeah. Lisa. So what I'm doing is I'm allowing them to have two pairs of hands nice to assist them in the front of house and the back of house. Long time no see. Tasha, what's up? Welcome back. Nice to see you again. Nice to see you. The importance of employing the right person is paramount. 
we would normally go through the whole interview process, but everyone that worked with you was so impressed that it's just a waste of yeah, time. Yeah, you were wonderful. So I, all I need is your phone number. <laughs> well, I came in to uh, interview with Lisa first and then with Kelsey. We're gonna have three people in the kitchen this time. They both let me know that they both wanted me right away. Have you been over to the Black Restaurant yet? Yeah. You yeah. have? Did they say they wanted to hire you? I don't know. Okay, well, then you're ours. They stole they it. They wanted me to, so we'll see. And then I had to make a decision. Hello? Hi, Lisa. Yes. Hi, I'm a pleasure. What, you want to work for me? Uh, yeah. Yes. 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 Oh. Hello? Oh, hey, Natasha. So, what's the news? I'm gonna go with the other restaurant. Okay, if I can't have Natasha, I'm gonna get married. Mary, who could you be talking to? Hi. Nice to meet you, Liz. Mary. Mary? Yes. Mary. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message. Mary, don't do that. Hi, Mary, it's Kelsey. I really wanna hire you. I think you're exactly what I need in the kitchen. Uh, so please call me back. Absolutely, this is very impressive. Lisa totally stole Natasha from me, so I have to get Mary now. Uh, she's she's exactly what I'm looking for, and um, Lisa's not going to get her. <laughs> Do you want to work with us? We like you very much. I'd love to. That'd be great. Okay, fabulous. I'd love to work with you too. Awesome. <laughs> fabulous. I am completely and utterly blown away as, as to how things went today. I really am. Okay, wonderful. Thank you very much. Me either. Man, my day is just turning into a golden gem. Mm. I want Mary. Where's Mary? Maybe try calling her again. Hi, is this Mary? Yeah, hi, Addy. I just got your voicemail. Oh, how are you? Um, I wanted to let you know because of a family crisis, I'm not able to be a part of your restaurant. Mary was great, and then she calls with a family emergency, and she couldn't make it. And I was like, can't her family emergency wait? <laughs> this is a family emergency. Yeah. <laughs> Over the last eight weeks, I've taught them Mother Nature is the true artist. I've taught them to simplify their food, but glamorize it. I've taught them many things, and what I want to see is if they have listened to me. Oh, my giddy. Hello, Marco. Oh, and you expect me to give you a restaurant? I dropped round to see Kelsey and Vanessa, have an hour with them, a bite to eat. This looks like the best thing you've cooked. Well, maybe I should put it on my menu. They've come a long way in a very short space of time. Special, special girls. So tell me about your menu. We want to do tapas, so everyone can come in and kind of try a bite of everything we have to offer and share with their friends and socialize. Remember one thing. What's that? The more you give them, the more chance you have of failure. Right. I thought because about that. if you put three things on a plate and they're all cooked perfectly, mm -hmm. easy, right or wrong. Right. If you put six things on a plate to get six things perfect, it's almost impossible. It's all about intelligence. Right. It's all about strategy. Never be over ambitious. We never want to let Marco down. I mean, it lit a fire inside of us, and we wanted to make sure that we could prove to him that Kelsey and I were the right ones to be here and that he made the right choice in keeping us because we're here to fight till the end. Thank you for a delicious dinner. I've enjoyed your company immensely. We did as well. Thank you. I really mean good luck. Thank you, Marco. Thank you. Have a God good bless. night. Have a lovely evening. Good Get good some evening. sleep. Thank you. Do you something? Is it growing on you? It's ghastly. Check out all these tabletops from Ikea. Ah, this stuff. Being in this competition is so physically draining. It's crazy. You really have to push yourself, and it's really mentally challenging. It's an overall competition, and, and there's no messing around. <laughs> oh, turn work. When Vanessa and I were thinking of the concept for Restaurant C, we thought tapas. But after talking to Marco, I took Marco's advice, simplicity is always better, don't get too ambitious, so I changed my menu. My appetizers are a fish taco with a spicy chipotle sour cream, flatbread with mushrooms and caramelized onions and figs. For my entrees, I have seared tuna with the avocado salsa on top like I made for Marco, and then the lamb dish with the fennel salad underneath. My desserts are a pudding sampler, and then I had to bring back the cherries that got me to the final. 
we're at the point now where we really have to think about every move we make. The whole competition rides on this one menu, and she's doing stuff she's never done. She hasn't put them together yet. She doesn't know what they're gonna look like, taste like. She imagines it. I mean, that's, to me, that's like either a, a crazy person or a, a brilliant mind, one of the two. Or maybe it's a little of both. It's beautiful. I think it is. I'm gonna do a lobster cocktail, pork tenderloin, with blanched scallions and shiitake mushrooms. And then I have a chopped manchego cheese salad. For the main course, I've got the uh, Kobe, and then doing a couple of uh, sauteed prawns over some beluga lentils. And then dessert, I have these apple strudel cigars, and then chocolate uh, chambord with fresh raspberries. Traditionally, food dogs come in a pair, a male and a female, and they ward off bad spirits. But when they showed up, we had two of the males, and so it wasn't a full pair, and that's not good luck at all. So I thought it would be funny <laughs> if we brought one of them over to the other restaurant, sort of as a gift with a note that said good luck, but secretly it was totally bad luck. Hurry! <laughs> there was a knock at the front door, and there was a card and some kind of funny looking dog. Up. Oh, somebody sent us a good luck present, Lisa. You need to come in here. I believe that's a uh, good luck uh, present from Marco. What? That. Check it out. It's very this is, nice. This is from Vanessa. This you is think Vanessa's so? handwriting, yeah. Well, it's probably like that Troy. Uh... No, this is a very. This is a, this is a dog protector. It's a very important thing. It's a special gift. I just found out Marco's coming for dinner. I'm very excited about it. I've been dying to do that, and that's gonna be great. Marco's the reason why we're here and as far as we are, so I'd be, I'm very honored to have him for dinner. Did she tell you about her menu yet? She's cooking dishes she's, she's never cooked, put on a menu before. That's very high risk strategy. Yeah. And I've gotta say that Lisa cooked me a lovely dinner. Thank you very much, that looks very nice. Thank you. Her food's always been steady. She was always the rock. This is delicious. If it wasn't for Lisa, Kelsey and Vanessa would not be in this final. What is this? I know it's yeah. chocolate and raspberry. What would you call it? Sex in an espresso cup. Really? Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> I'm not feeling very aroused by eating it. Yeah, I'm still testing it out. You, you're my tester. Can I just say, don't make it complicated. It's intelligence that gets you through something like this. And strategy will always compensate for talent. Lisa showed me that she has the ability. But is Annapol out front strong enough to deliver her dream? So if they should listen to my words, keep it simple. And the simpler the menu is, the easier the service. I've had a delicious dinner with you both tonight. I wish you the best. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. I held the food dog just to feel its energy, and I didn't feel like it was negative or positive. So I left it by the front door and was gonna leave it there and see what would happen to the energy of the front of the house. And if it was darker, I was gonna remove it. So I dropped the other one of these off over at the other restaurant, and then I'm throwing this out, because <laughs> I can't have this around here. It's totally bad luck. How's the energy feel in here? Should I get rid of the uh, thing? The feeling with the food dog isn't good because it just doesn't feel right. Call it superstition, call it whatever you want, but this is like not a joke. It's just too much at stake. So I want to get it out of here. We should start um, by organizing everything that we have. Kelsey and I have been ready to win a restaurant since we arrived in New York, but today we feel it and we're ready and we want to do this and we want to win. This day is like probably the most important day of my life and I want to be as together and organized as I can possibly be. Anna Paul and I want to win badly, so we're going to do everything we know how to make that happen. Over the last several weeks, I've watched both teams. They've all shown me they can do it. What they have to do tonight is give their all, give their best. And so I have the means to $250,000 for somebody 
to realize their dream. Their new restaurant, the kitchen will be fitted out by Jade Range. The stoves that they have been cooking over the last several weeks. And in addition, Shoes for Cruise will be flying them to London first class to spend time with me, to dine in all my restaurants where I can really help them. I can share my knowledge. I can take them into my world. Hi, Marco. I've come around to say thank you and show you my appreciation for dinner last night. Lisa. Thank you. And Anna Paul. Thank you very much. Thank you. Very sweet. <laughs> Henkel knives. Twin identity knives. Top of the line. I love Marco's gift. I'll cherish it for the rest of my life. I was just so touched by it. <gasps> oh, it says my name in it. Oh, is there more? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> Marco gave us chef coats with our names and the name of our restaurant on it. And that was really special because it sort of made everything real. Like, this is ours and we could really have this. Good luck, girls. Thank you, Marco. Thank you, Marco. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Thank you. Tonight's a really big night. And, you know, Marco's kind of been mentoring us this whole time. And then he came in and gave us that kind of good luck charm. And it was just really nice. Have a nice day, girls. <laughs> you too, Marco. I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> Nice. Wow. Beautiful. That looks hot. I'm sorry. That looks really good. For the last dinner service, I'm very excited. But the menu, the whole look of the thing, it's just been in my head for years. I mean, cooking in restaurants and learning from other chefs and now Marco. I've been waiting for this my whole life, you know? Love, 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 love. Oh, that's great. Nice work, dude. I can sense it in the air that today's like the day where this is real. We could really have this restaurant. It could really be ours and there's no messing around. <laughs> it's us or them. The doors are about to open and Vanessa and I get a moment to kind of just see our restaurant come to life. All of our ideas and everything is here and it was really cool to see us. I feel like what we did here was very sexy, loungy, hip. I think we're a little bit on the cutting edge of things and um, I know we're gonna beat them. Nothing's gonna stop me from doing this, and I'm gonna prove it to Marco. Good luck, babe. It's fabulous. Go, sister. Go, sister. This is, without doubt, the most important dinner service of their life, because if they get it right, they win a restaurant. If they get it wrong, they're going back with nothing. And that's a very long journey to walk back with empty pockets. So the reality is, once the curtain opens, everything will be revealed, everything will be shown off, and we are now at the point of no return. Hi, welcome. Welcome. Hi. Nice to see you both. Nice to see you. Congrats. Thank you very much. I like the name of your restaurant. Thank you. It looks different than last time. Yeah. Are you with a larger party? I'm with a party of just three other people. When I walked in the door, I was so glad to be greeted by the woman I knew would be waiting for me, because she was the high point of my first evening. Enjoy your evening. We will. Over the last several weeks, we've had critics interjudge both teams. What they don't realize yet is that I am their judge tonight. I will make the final decision. Who wins that restaurant? Good evening. Hello. How are you? Hello. You get the best seat in the house? Here's Morgan. He's my guest tonight in both restaurants. We've got to have two dinners. Maybe just send two stars for eight with two main courses, because we, we, we've got to go. Marco's table can use fire to one of each app. They're going to get one of each, and they, they're in a hurry. So. OK, let's get one naan, one taco. Ladies, how are you? So it definitely looks like it's going for the um, global Asian thing. You gonna tell me you don't have a reservation, but you want to hear anyway? It's gonna be an onslaught and a hammer. You're catching up, so someone will be with you in a few moments. Thank you. At the beginning, we were so overwhelmed. The reservations are supposed to be staggered. It looks like that just a bus pulled up in front and just, you know, the, the <laughs> 50 or 60 up. people all walked in at the same time. Where's everybody coming from? 
fine. Welcome home is how it yeah. felt, you know? It's gonna feel like a home. An extension to your home. This one, I'm just gonna let him do a fork and knife. I like it like that. So, I'm bringing Marco's appetizers. He's in a rush. Oh, unbelievable. And the freaking taco falls on the floor. So, I just scooped up the taco, went straight back to the kitchen. Sorry, I dropped that taco. Can you rush another one? Uh, another taco, quickly, please. We dropped that one. How long does that take? Two seconds? It'll be like three minutes. Oh, shit. Uh, which name is your reservation under? Can you take this to Marco? Yes. I think that's what you're meant to do, isn't it? Mm, nice, spicy. One minute. Here, use this plate. Being the final dinner service out of all the ones that I've done so far, this is obviously the most amazing one to me because it's mine. <laughs> it's my food. Nobody's in my face. <laughs> Are you guys just going to do one of each? Yeah, we'll just do one of each. Do the other half? So I don't even have to tell you what I'm doing. Okay, having. fantastic. <laughs> it's more fun that yeah. way, right? Thanks. Thank you. I like the style. It's very nice. That's the kind of person I want to meet when I come into a restaurant. Yeah. Firmly in charge, but unobtrusive, not forcing herself. Going head to head with Lisa is kind of bittersweet. She's the one person that I really respected out of this whole thing. So she's the one person I would want to compete against, but then it's like she's the one person I don't want to compete against. But I've grown so much as a chef that maybe I do have what it takes to beat Lisa. Okay, I just need you to change the amount of things you want to the right side. Okay. Yeah, when the night started, I thought I had a system down and it would be organized, and um, that's not how it worked out. This, I need the, the rest of this, whatever this is, table three. Yeah, she took it already. She just took it? Yeah. And there was just chaos with the tickets. What the shit is this? I understand that you're all very hungry, but we're, we're as busy as we could be, so if you just be patient, someone will get to you in a moment. The lobster appetizer came with a shot of sake, and it's a very uncomfortable balancing act, and they tried to carry three, and when anybody tried to carry three at the same time, forget it. One went down. <gasps> and I go, fire another lobster. Can you salvage the lobster by any chance? Got seven to the oven. All right, this is going here, that's going there. When we got the first set of orders in, I just fired all the appetizers and had them out and ready to go. And then nobody came in to pick them up. And I was like, oh, no. And I rang the dinner bell. Nobody heard it, of course. It's too loud out there. So I thought that I would run the food out to Marco and his guests. Hello. Uh, is this, this is my friend, you? Pierce. Hi, I'm Pierce. Hi, nice how are you? you? This is Kelsey, the chef. It's nice to meet you. We enjoyed that. Oh, good. Thank you. As I've said many times, if there's no waiter in the kitchen, take it out yourself. She won a lot of brownie points. Clever girl. What I like is the fact she came out and served it. Because the, the food's great, and they've got this front of the house. It's a good combination. Kelsey. Yeah. The table that has Coleman written on top, where are they? It says this Coleman one. right here. This is going to be done in one second. It's for Vanessa, though. The appetizers tasted awfully good. The tuna taco had nice flavor. And the flatbread had very nice cheesiness, as if it was a really warm, rich pizza that you were having. One of each, the lamb. Or sorry, the lamb and the tuna. OK, we need a couple of knives. We need knives. When I was having my mix-ups in the kitchen, I was thinking to myself, I hope that something like this is going on in Lisa's kitchen, because I know that she's really strong. Um, as an expediter and as a head chef. Ah, oh, someone's taken the table I wanted. Good evening, Anna Paul. How are you this evening? Oh, yeah. I'm very well. Anna Paul, do you have a table for us? I don't. I wasn't expecting you this early. I gave it away. Can I offer you a drink while you wait? I mean, not a good start, right? <laughs> When I walked into the black restaurant with Pierce, there is something wrong. I noticed every table was full. But I got a table booked. I thought, interesting. Pierce, bring that chair. <laughs> There's a table at the front. Hello, ladies. Oh, it's very, uh, very pink in here, Marco. Did you pick up table 20 already? No. Well, then, did you take something to some table I didn't know about? 
Once we got our entrees, I almost wanted to tell them, bite me, because we waited a good 35 minutes before we got our food, and everything was over seasoned. There we go. When I saw Marco carrying his own chairs to build a table, I thought, oh my god, this is exactly what you don't want to happen. Well, you've just learned rule one of restaurant touring, which is when the boss arrives, you've always got to have a table. So we have a prawns and a Kobe, and we'll have the Belgium and the lobster. Thank you. First impressions. So important in restaurants. The girl in the other restaurant, front of house, I liked her attitude. This guy's attitude's winding me up. He's just slightly like, you know, who do you guys think you are? Running a restaurant is not just about cooking. It's about getting lots of little things right. Marco needs his food in two minutes. Can you take those two out and then come back for the other one? Yeah. Thanks. How are you, Katie? Cheers, hi. Nice to meet you. What's your opinion so far? They were very small portions. Really? We couldn't even get a table. Front of the house. It's going, I think it's going very well. But I can't think about it. I mean, I'm doing the best I can not to think about it. I have a tremendous amount of uh, confidence in Annapol because I know how he is on that floor. He's entertaining as hell. I, I think he's just so much fun to watch. Okay, we're gonna kick you out in a little while. Here's Marco's table right now. Oh no. Please, I dropped another one. Just take Marco's table right now. Thank you. Be careful. Thank you. Looks nice, though, doesn't it? Looks yeah, well, tidy. Last night, I tried to tell them to simplify their foods. They haven't done it. Thank you. Lisa is a very good cook. I think this time she stretched herself just that little bit too far. Chewing. Not nice. Undercooked. Yeah, it's poured into us in a rush. <laughs> I mean, complete and utter chaos. If I don't see him again in a hurry, it's too soon. I'm catching a plane back to London before he kills me. Taxi! Tonight's the night. This is it. It's over. I think it started to become real to me when I was serving dessert, because then I was like, oh my gosh, I just did my final dinner service. Lawful food. Good, thank you. There's no comparison between this restaurant and what it was like the last time I was in this space. I think this is much more focused, much more confident, just better overall, more in control. So everybody, this is my kid sister that's the chef Hello. this evening. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank I know you. I put in my best, Vanessa put in her best, and I'm hoping and praying and wishing that it's enough to win this restaurant. Nice job, girls. Thank you. After my last experience, I think things are vastly improved. I just think there's little things, and that's when it comes down to a, a good restaurant as opposed to a great restaurant. It's how you handle things under pressure. But I, I'm not sure I really got this small plate thing. That concept might have been lost on me a little bit. For what was thrown at us, we did a great job. I mean, I can do certain things, but when you've got somebody like Lisa supporting you from the kitchen, you know that the food's going to be wonderful, and you know that, that it's going to look good, and it, and it did the whole time. If I were Marco, I'd give me the prize. <laughs> I really would. There's two couples left. That moment of truth has finally arrived. I have to make the most important decision of all. Which couple wins? Lisa and Anna Paul. Good evening. Everybody got quiet. And we both went, oh my god, this is it. Thank you. I'm 
Vanessa and Kelsey. I was like, I think it's really happening. Marco's gonna announce the winner. And I'm here to make an announcement. These are the last two in the Red Kitchen. Six weeks ago, I was just wondering if I was gonna get through a day. It's been a long battle. Lisa and Annapol, they survived. Annapol and I really struggled a long time. Paid our dues and everything else, so I think we deserve it. I have the means to $250,000. to give away to build a restaurant. And for the last eight weeks, I've spent my time sacking people. But also trying to inspire them. I have made my decision. Then I got really scared, because I was like, if he is announcing to this whole restaurant that we lost, I'm going to shrivel in a ball. Why aren't you smiling today? We're not gonna. Tonight, Kelsey and Vanessa are waiting for my decision on what should happen. Somebody's phone rang. It just made us have to wait it out longer. Sorry. It's okay. Irony at its best. Lisa, Anna Paul, I have made my decision. Yeah? If we went to our restaurant tonight, it would mean the entire second half of our lives, you know? This restaurant it will close down. But this restaurant will reopen. In L.A., Vanessa and Kelsey, you are the winners of the chopping block. When Marco announced that we won, the first thing I thought of was like, yes! And then the second thing that went through my mind was, Oh my gosh, Lisa and Annapol didn't win. Nice job. It's been nice working with you. You as well. Thank you, and congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for I honestly would not have wanted to be in the finale with anyone else but Lisa and Annapol. And, and I can't wait to give them a big hug. I wish I could call my mom. <laughs> Thank you. Sir. Champagne for everybody! The hardest decision that I've had to make in eight weeks is choosing the winner. I see their strengths and I see their weaknesses. Anna Paul and Vanessa can serve and work the floor. But the star out front is Vanessa. Lisa and Kelsey can both cook. The stronger person in the kitchen is Lisa. But you know, what Kelsey and Vanessa had done is they'd listened to what I said week one. To win, they have to simplify. Clever strategy. Lisa was obviously struggling to get the food out. In my opinion, wanted to impress people. And that's why the wheels were coming off the wagon. Kelsey knows her weaknesses. And she knows her strengths. So what does she do? She made her move at the right time. I think that Lisa underestimated her. And that's why they won. Wow. How does it look? It's great. It's different, right? Congratulations. Thank you. Good job. Thank you. Thank you guys, honestly. Kelsey and I are like, we're the only two people in our whole family to go to college. Um, this is a huge deal. It's going to like, turn the tables for our family, and hopefully the new gen the next generations will, you know, learn and be inspired by our hard work, and it's, it's a huge deal. Yeah. yeah, I mean, our mom was a single mom, and she raised us all on her own, and thank God she raised us in the kitchen, because now we're here, but um, 
we've seen her work hard and it's inspired us to work hard and it's paid off finally. This is a whole new life for us. Kelsey and I are going to be restaurateurs. <laughs> of course. We're so good at that. There's nothing nicer than watching someone realize their dream. And I can't wait to walk through the doors of their restaurant to sit down and have lunch or dinner.